across Christmas, visit Santa Claus, spend time with family. Um, it was really good. Uh, there were some great moments in there and I had a lot of fun. So we made it back to Tegucigalpa, no problems. Getting here was easy, um, it was great. The first thing we do is go out to eat at Tahitas, great place, if you haven't tried it, go out and get it. And yeah, so we'll see you next time, bye. So here we are at the little restaurant Tahitas and there's a play area and both the girls are swinging, having a lot of fun. And Janet just realized something, that Kaylee speaks with a Honduran accent, Anna speaks with a Mexican accent. So what does that mean? We're about to be the weirdest family ever, but we already are. Anyway, we're having fun, we're glad to be back. Hey, so we're here at Tajitas. Shout out to Naun and Sarah for introducing us to it. Um, anyway, so we're glad to be back in the 78 degrees. It was freezing in Oklahoma, and you see now we're, uh, we're loving the weather. Anyway, so my daughter just boasts me. She is the boast, which is something that I had never heard before I came to Honduras. So she was telling me to take Catalina and uh, swing with her so that she could go play. And I would say, like, hazlo así. Like, do it this way. And she said, hacerlo así, vos. Do it like, like this, you. Do it like this, you. And I was like, oh my gosh, my daughter just boasts me. Like, we were already the weird white family that spoke Spanish, but now we're the weird white family that speaks two dialects of Spanish. And earlier she was counting, and I heard her say, uno, dos, tres. Like, she didn't pronounce the S's, and I was like, oh, she's Honduran now. And Catalina was noticeably happier to be back in Honduras. She's been, like, dancing, and, like, she obviously likes being around Spanish. And she thinks this is her culture. Catalina is eating a papusa. Can I see your papusa? Thank you. It's basically like fried stuff with beans inside. She likes it very much. We're having nachos. Instead of lettuce, they use what they call repollo, which is cabbage with like a vinaigrette. And then they put chismol on everything, which is very similar to what we would call pico de gallo.